What's cracking, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. New video. All right. People been asking me <clears throat> for a week now, week and a half maybe. Can you talk about lefty gunplay? What's up with lefty gunplay? Are you going to do a video on lefty gunplay? I try to give you guys what you want. If I'm comfortable with it. So. This morning. I watched some of his videos. I watched three of his uh, rap videos. And. Uh, then I watched him on the community. Shout out to the community. I've always liked AD. Right. t Rail cracks me up i don't know if he's still on there i haven't been watching it but so i saw that i saw the thing the other day about whack 100 commenting on lefty because that chump adam brought up lefty to him knowing that you know and and, and adam knew what he was doing man but here we go i don't know I don't know any of these people. From the outside looking in, I can only give my honest opinion, um, advice that isn't, nobody's asking for it. I'm sure it won't be heated. Not heated, but heated. The, the advice won't be heated. But because people have been asking me to do a video, I'm going to do it. It is extremely obvious that right now, Lefty Gunplay has momentum. From what I hear, behind the scenes, he has a lot of support. But it seems like every time Lefty Gunplay is talking, he's under the influence. There are a lot of evil forces in the entertainment industry. You know, Cat Williams has talked about a lot of it lately. And I think it's, you know, uh, on, on the community, um, Lefty said that um, somebody said you're like the Tupac the Mexican Tupac where you're just coming out of jail and you're doing all these things. And he said, that's what, I, that's what I'm trying to be like. I respect that. If that's your goal, to me, Tupac was the greatest rapper ever. People bring up the charges. Those are bunk charges. But one thing that set Tupac apart from everyone was what? He stayed in the studio. Yeah, he smoked some weed. He'll drink now and then. But he stayed in the studio. If you look at Nipsey Hussle. You know, I'm just trying to be where. Look, man. This guy Lefty Gunplay, like I said, he's got a lot of momentum right now. He's going to have a lot of people around him. That are trying to figure out how they can come up off of him. And I'm not saying that in a fucked up way. I understand the homie. They, they say he just, he just, people were asking me, hey, he said he was in the Bay, was he? I don't know. If you said he was in the Bay, he was in the Bay. Like, my concern is you have the spotlight on you right now. That spotlight only stays on people for a certain amount of time. While that spotlight is on you, big dog. I would advise you, don't party. You want to party on the weekends, party on the weekends. Monday through fi Friday, be in the lab. While you're sober, pay attention to who's around you trying to get you high. Pay attention to who's around you with their hand out. Get rid of the riffraff around you. Become 
look it. If Lefty Gunplay was in prison, if he was in, in Pelican Bay, then he knows how to be disciplined. Being disciplined in prison is fine for surviving prison. Being disciplined in life out here is to set you up and set your family up for generational wealth. If you can maintain this spotlight on you, like I said, it only lasts for a while. And <clears throat> it's it's very rare for it to be on Rasa. Lefty Gunplay, you he hasn't asked to be nobody's role model. He's gonna say he's not a role model, but he's a fucking role model right now. There are kids watching that are like, I'm gonna be like that, Bafa. I saw in community that you know somebody said something about him being high and he said hell yeah i'm high and he pulled out a stack of money right put that shit in the bank invest that whatever's around you right now is temporary and it's around you it's what you can see you got to start focusing on the things long term that you want to develop and you got to put that shit in motion. I know somebody like Adam 22 is going to try to stir the pot with this guy because I can see that this guy Lefty Gunplay is a genuine dude, genuine hearted dude. He's not trained you know, you know, like a lot of these guys, they get that that um, that media training. This Vato don't have media training. He's gonna say what he thinks. And talking to somebody like Adam, who knows that, he's gonna try to ask him some shit that'll get him caught up. Adam forgets. Uh, I don't think he forgets. It's very. What he does, he does on purpose, man. He knows that asking certain things will get certain responses, which will get certain reactions. If Lefty Gunplay goes back on Adam-22, I would suggest that he has people with him that are going to talk to Adam before the cameras start rolling and just let him know, like, hey, chill with the bullshit. You want to talk about music? Talk about music. If you don't like what we're saying, we'll bounce. Adam's only one platform. I know what it's like to be young. To be young and have such a good, such a, not good, such a big spotlight on you. Drugs, women, booze, all of that's going to cloud your judgment. Again, you want to get places, look, how, how you, how can you get like, let's say there was somebody willing to invest money in you to get a tour going. 50 city, 30 city tour. That's a physical grind. You can't, you can't get high every day doing that. You can't be drinking every day. Your voice won't hold up. Your body ain't going to hold up. You are your brand. So let's say 15 cities in, your, your voice just goes out. It's a 30 city tour. 30 cities already paid for your tickets. Again, I know this, this is, you know, yeah, well, this old ass motherfucker. He don't know. I know enough to know that spotlight ain't going to be around forever. The crowds that are around you while the light is on you. They're like moths, eh? A lot of them. I'm not saying everybody, but a lot of them are like moths, eh? 
What do moths do? They follow the light. They follow the flame. So when that flame ain't on you no more and it goes to someone else, so do they. And they party with them. They bring all the, the women around. Money gets thrown around till the flame moves on again. So my advice is take advantage of what you got right now. Get in the gym. Stay in the lab. Record as much as you can. I heard um, what Lefty Gunplay had to say about the Raza from up north. And um, that's something you can't take back. So there's a whole section of California that you can't perform in now. Or if you do, it could be all bad. I've talked about this a grip of times and I get, you know, he was in prison and he's out here. and But, you know, I've said it before, either somebody's going to be a rapper or they're going to be a gangster. You can't be both. It's not going to work. And I, and I, 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 I feel that lefty gunplay leans more towards being a gangster. And um, that's a shame. Because who else? Look at look at look at King Little G. As big as he is, I don't see the momentum. I I, I don't know. Maybe I missed it. Maybe I just wasn't following. But I never saw the momentum that that Lefty Gunplay has. To me, I I don't know anything about this dude. To me, it seems like he came out of nowhere, and he's got everybody talking about him. I'm telling you, the last week and a half, two weeks, whatever it was, I've had a gang of people mention his name in the comments, in my lives. And so I'm here talking about him right now. I'm offering advice that I know will fall on deaf ears. And at the end of the day, I wish him well. <clears throat> but unless... Unless he does what I think he should do and what I've said in this video that he should do, I don't see it lasting years. I would hate to see him go back to prison. Um, I don't know if because of his... Um, the spotlight that's on him, if he went back to prison, the fact that he has said certain things about the Raza from up north, who knows what that would lead to. Is it, is it, I don't want to get into it, but anyways, that's my feel. It's my feelings. That's my view. <clears throat> um, I don't, I'm not really a fan of the new rap. Was he horrible? No. Could I bump him? Maybe. I'd have to hear some more songs, hear the beats. But it's not about me. It's about the people that are supporting him, the people that are behind him as far as his supporters, his fans. You say you want to get money, get that money. You don't got to get high to get money. That shit's going to interfere with your money. Hopefully you understand that. But that said, everybody, please be safe, be smart, and tell the ones you love that you love them. I'm out.